Hi, everybody. Justine Frolker here, author, speaker, corporate trainer, and certified Daring Way and Dare to Lead facilitator. And this is where we talk about courageous resilience in a pretty imperfect way with a lot of emotion and where I teach you the skills, tools, and language to change your life in sustainable ways. Uh, so wherever you're watching or listening, podcast player, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, thank you for being here. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. A couple weeks ago, a week ago, I put a post out about empathy. And I loved your feedback. And you all know how much I love the superpower of empathy. And it has been a brutal year. And we're going into a year that kind of feels like it will be much of the same for a while. And we're in the holiday season. And there's lots of tough conversations that are probably going to be had. And our opinions have only gotten more divided and our feelings more on the surface, even though we're really struggling to cope with them and name with name them and be healthy about them because we're just so dang fatigued with trauma and grief and disappointment and uncertainty and just the brutality of 2020 into 2021. I have a salve. It's empathy. And so in the next few videos, we're going to talk about multiple things. What is empathy? We're going to talk about what is the difference of getting it and not getting it when you are on the receiving end of not getting it. How's it feel? We're going to talk about how it's a lot more about presence than the perfect words. We're going to talk about how when you feel awkward and powerless, it's probably more empathic. And then we're going to talk about how do we give it um, to ourselves and others, maybe if we don't get it from them first. So that's a little overview of where we're headed. So first off, what is empathy? Can you imagine if everyone in the world felt seen and known and loved and valued? These are our inherent needs. One of my values is to make sure no one leaves my presence without feeling seen and like they matter. And I know how much I choose the skills of empathy and lean into the discomfort of it. it helps me to provide the space for that for people to feel seen, known, and loved. So here's the thing. You can do empathy. I don't care if you're not the most empathic person ever. You probably can actually learn how to do it. It's simply being able to recognize an emotion in other people, to take their perspective. So first off, you got to be able to recognize emotion in yourself. So like there's a lot of different kinds of happy, mad, sad, glad. Okay. So be able to recognize emotions in yourself so that you can recognize it in other people. Now, I want you to take their perspective. You don't have to have gone through what someone is going through. You don't have to know exactly what their situation is like for you to still choose the skill of empathy. It is simply choosing their perspective, taking their perspective, asking them, what is it like to live their lives? What's it like to be going through what you're going through right now? If you'd like to share, I'm here. I want to listen. You take their perspective. You recognize what emotion they might be experiencing and you communicate that emotion back to them. Like, you seem really sad. This gives them two chances. One, they might be like, oh my gosh, I am sad. Boom, they're heard. They feel seen. Or they say, I'm not sad, I'm pissed. You help them find their words. They feel seen. You don't have to go on through what they're going through in order to recognize the emotions that are underneath. You also don't actually have to like it or agree with it. I'm not even going to go so far as you don't even have to go so far as to understand exactly what they're feeling because you can only imagine some aspects of it. You are not them. You can Lean into your own discomfort of what it feels like to feel emotion, especially someone else's struggle, to sit beside them, believe them when they tell you, 
leave them. It's their perspective. Recognize the emotion, communicate the emotion, and just be there with your presence. Okay. We're going to talk about how, like, there's not many words that you can actually say, but there are some. And so I always use my own story. If you've ever been in any of my workshops or been around here for any amount of time, you've heard my story. I'm a 40 year old woman who can't have kids. We tried. It didn't work. And when some people, a lot of people hear my story, they offer one of two responses. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. Bless your heart. I just can't imagine. It's pity. Or they offer me what they think is a simple solution or a quick fix. Why don't you just adopt or try another round? Or you should foster all the children in the world. Now these, these responses are never malicious. They are because, uh, A difficult story, I don't call my story difficult anymore, it's a big story, a difficult story makes us uncomfortable and vulnerability, and most of us don't love vulnerability, and so instead of leaning into vulnerability, what happens is is we think we have to fix someone's pain, not your job, plus you can't, above your pay grade. We also say something stupid because we don't want to say the wrong thing, when in actuality, Just saying not much at all is empathy. Saying something as simple as, that really sucks. I'm glad you told me. Presence. Sit beside. This is the difference between empathy and especially sympathy. Because when you offer me a simple solution or a quick fix or a, oh, you poor thing, pity, I'm alone with my pain. And I'm a 40-year-old woman who can't have kids. I'm almost always the only one everywhere I go. I am already alone as it is. And so when you choose not to lean in to your own vulnerability and choose the superpower of empathy, I'm sitting even more alone in my shit. And empathy, for a lot of people, is simply having someone sit in the shit with you. Just be there. So over the next couple of videos, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the things that trip us up when it comes to empathy. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe no matter where you're watching or listening. And thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.